Hi and welcome to the shop. I recently got some late Christmas presents and among those was a hardware set from Crucible for making some pinch sticks or pinch rods and that's what I'm going to be doing today. Now I've made my own in the past, shorter versions and for this I'm going to be making a set that will measure up to at least six foot six or two meters which will be really handy. Ones I've made in the past, my longest one is this one which measures just a four foot just over four foot I think it is. Uh, so this next one will take me up probably to the total length I'm ever going to need to be honest. So watch me do that and I've also got some photographs of making this one which I'll show along the way. All we really need to do for this kit is prepare two rods that are um, three quarters of an inch wide by three eighths of an inch thick and just put a little tip on them uh, which I'll show you later on. I ripped this ram in wood down from a larger section and now I'm just planing the two down to the three eighths of an inch thickness. And I'm just using the actual hardware as a guide to how I'm getting on. The board itself was already at three quarters of an inch so I was very lucky there. I can see I've got a little bit further to go. Now ramming isn't particularly stable in service, but for uh, pinch rods it should be absolutely fine. A little bit of wax on the sole of the plane, just to get things gliding a bit better. might have noticed that I've started to round over one of the sides that I've already finished and prepared. You don't want the risk of getting uh, splinters when you're using these things. Ramming does tend to be very slightly interlocked. Doesn't always sound the greatest when you're planing it. So it must be getting pretty close now. I don't want to go too far because I want to put the smoother over it when I'm finished. Right, so I'll just go to the smoother now. So I've got a nice finish on both sides. So that's obviously just a little bit tight in the middle. You often get crowning when you're planing. So I'll just take a little bit out of the middles. I can actually check that. Yeah, a little bit thicker in the middle. So sort that one out.
So there we go. I eased all the edges of the donor board before I started. So now I've got three more sides, two more corners on that one to do and four corners on this one just to ease over. Now, as you can see, Crucible suggesting putting a single bevel point on uh, the end of each rod. Obviously it goes into corners when you're measuring the diagonals and things like that. I'm sure that will work perfectly well and that's what I'm going to do this time. In the past I've done uh, double beveled ends on there. I've also done square ends. Now some of you may not be aware how to use pinch sticks for checking the square of something. So for example, this uh, tool cabinet, when I was building the carcass for that, I want to make sure that it was, had square corners in it uh, and the whole thing was nice and square so that the doors fitted, etc., etc. Well, to check it square, I check first of all that the two verticals are the same length, which I could do before I build because I can hold them next to each other. And the same with the top and the bottom board. Uh, but I can also check them with the pinch sticks in place, so I can check the length of that uh, vertical and of that vertical, check they're the same, check the top and bottom are the same, and then where the real wizardry comes in, and it's just uh, this basic geometry, we extend the pinch sticks between the opposite corners for the diagonal, lock them off, and then check that the opposite diagonal is exactly the same measurement. And if it is, then you know that the thing's square. Why wouldn't you just use a uh, tape rule to measure it? Well, my theory is that uh, pinch sticks came in a long time ago when there wasn't uh, good electric lighting. And so the way to go was to use feel. And you can't feel the measurement on a tape rule, but if you use pinch sticks, you can just extend them out to the corners they register there and then uh, you can check so you could do it if, basically if you're blind or if you had no lights on and if you're working by candle you get just as good a measurement so I'm just marking out to uh, taper off the ends Take the majority off with a saw. Now I'll clamp that up in the vise and I can plane it nice and square. Now these tips are going to be very delicate, so what I'm going to do is just put a very slight back bevel on there, just with the plane like so. That'll just uh, stop the ends from fraying. Some boiled linseed oil, let that soak in, wipe it off, let it dry and then give it some coats of shellac. And that should protect the, the rods. Two inches in for the end is where we fix the hardware. There's one screw into each rod. And the instructions are very clear what has to be done. So. One thing I, I would have liked to have seen, perhaps, is that these screws be countersunk so that once they're set, the whole surface is flush. But uh, these round heads are fine. They shouldn't cause any problems. So that fixes that piece of hardware onto that rod, and the other rod can slide quite freely behind it. We'll do the same at the other end. Oops. I 
and this end has got the, the locking nut on it. So let's release that, set that in. They say two inches, that sounds fine for me. Now I haven't shellacked these yet. I'm putting the fixings in just after one coat of the linseed oil. So there we go. We're sliding nicely. Locked off with this one. What I think I would do personally is put a very thin nylon washer at the base of this screw. Uh, so you've got nylon against the wood rather than the brass. Although you don't need to do it very tightly to stop the rods from moving. So that's a lovely set of pinch rods. Let me just check my overall length. I was aiming for six foot six. Yep, I've got uh, actually got six foot ten. So there won't be too many things I can't check with that. Obviously, because I've done it slightly differently, uh, my minimum length is going to be longer than the set um, would generally be used for. They, they say to use 32 inch rods and I'm using, I can't even remember now what I said. I'm using almost 45. So that's a lovely set of pinch rods and thanks very much to Will who sent me the hardware for that. Cheerio.